Aquarius. Hello Aquarius, hope you're doing well. Hope this reading finds you well. Let's see what's coming up for you. Mm. Wonder what that one is. Five of Swords. Five of Swords, King of Cups. And the Magician. Thoughts become things. Manifestation. Okay, Aquarius. Well, I, I think you're putting yourself first. You're putting your emotions first. I think, actually, some sort of mini victory has taken place in the past. Something that you've... Something that you've wanted to soothe you. I think there is a... This is a matter of the heart. This is a, an emotional matter. And you've been wanting something to take place. Because then you will feel satisfied. It's It's like something that you have been hoping for. Let's let's see more. Uh, a beginning, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, gift from the universe, a fresh start, being gifted. Mm. Okay, Nine of Swords. Well, there is a message here of not going back to the past. Not going back to any feelings of anxiety and frustration. Important to remember that, yes, the Nine of Swords does represent worry and anxiety, but it is a passing phase, and also there is a comfort blanket right there. So put yourself in situations that make you feel comfortable. And not the opposite. Four of Pentacles. No clinging to the past. But for money, that does look like a good foundation. Hierophant. So the past could be represented by a person who is a Taurus. Three of Pentacles, the card of quality work. So I sent some spiritual growth here right at the end in this column representing your future. Let's clarify. Five of Swords, the Page of Cups. It's not a love reading, but that could be just for some a disappointment in a love situation. So King of Cups next, watery energy, the Knight of Wands. So building this foundation of doing things the way you want them to be done and doing things that feel good and right to you and trusting your emotional intuition. Mm, on the Magician, Temperance, Aquarius. 
alchemy. That's a very powerful manifestation energy there. The magician and temperance. So there is a strong message there of alchemizing and transmuting anything negative, anything bad, anything that is just lead into something that is good, that is beneficial. Gold. Queen of Pentacles. Wanting a satisfying, homely life. Wishing to be with the right partner when it comes to a living situation. Being resourceful as well. I think the resourceful message is actually more important in this situation. So we have the tower with the two of wands. So this is something, there's, there's an unexpected wake up call here. And for some, it is to do with the past person who you were with, who most likely is a water sign. Nine of wands. Nine of Wands on the Nine of Swords. So place your boundaries with this person. If that message is resonating with you. Knight of Cups. The Knight in Shining Armour. So that would mean that love is coming in, or there is the potential, there is the opportunity for it, um, as there always is. I mean, there is always the potential for that. The Emperor, the Emperor with the Hierophant, more powerful energy showing up in your reading. So Temperance on the Magician was a powerful moment. The Emperor with the Hierophant. So this is what tarot is for. For some, this is a message of making sure you avoid being in a controlling situation with a particular person or an institution or a collective, a group of people. But equally, for others, this is being empowered by choices to do with love Choosing the things that you love. And we've got the Three of Pentacles right at the end. Quality work. The lovers. This is to do with love. So you could end up meeting um, a potential uh, partner in a workplace, in your next workplace, potentially. Let's pull you an affirmation card and see what's coming. Okay, two cards wanted to come out there. Two cards came out. Okay, surrender and commitment. Surrender. Whatever you resist in life persists. Whatever you resist in life persists. Ask your angels to help you dissolve all the resistances of your ego, the inner conflict and the struggle and rigid mindsets and habits, so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you have been using in resistance becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace, harmony, and most of all, love are your spiritual rewards. 
So flow with the pace of life, relax and tune in. Then follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. The affirmation with this card is, I surrender to the flow of life. I surrender to the flow of life. Mm -hmm. Commitment. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you aim for a vision without doubt or deviation, it must succeed. Your guidance is to persevere towards your vision. Let every thought, word and action be directed towards your desired outcome. Nothing is more powerful than focused energy and the angels will see the pure light of your commitment, whether it is to a relationship, a piece of work, which are both showing up here in, in this reading, a journey or anything else in your life. Remember to ask them for help and know when you dedicate your intention to the highest good, they will support you. The affirmation with this card is, I am committed. I am committed to my highest vision. I am committed to my highest vision. Okay, Aquarius, thanks for being here. Take care. Uh, don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Until next time, bye.